Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in, this is Robert Devan, the Success Sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. Episode 339, you've screwed up if you're the same person you were five years ago. It's the Success Sensei Podcast main event. You've screwed up if you're the same person you were five years ago. It's a long enough title. It's probably fairly self-explanatory, but... When we break it down, I think you're going to get something from it. The main point of this episode is just to give you a little bit of perspective. It's probably not going to be a long episode, so there's always that. It's going to be a bit shorter. It should be an easier listen than maybe some longer ones. But if you are if you haven't changed in the last five years, and I said five years because Different people listening to this episode are in different age categories. I could have easily said 10 years just to give you an easier marker. It could be 15 years. It could be 20 years. You know, depending on what age bracket you're in, you should be very different from, you know, some people, some people still treat you like the child you were when you were six years of age. Some people that grew up with you, including family members, can hold it against you, the things that you did when you were 10. You shouldn't be the same person you were growing up. You might have some of the traits, but you should be allowing yourself to grow. So we'll go with five years. In the last five years, if you reflect back and you are the same person, then what the hell were you doing for those five years or 10 years, whatever it may be, five years, 10 years, we'll use that that interchangeably. If you're the same, if you're exactly the same, then I'm reckoning that you've been coasting. What have you been doing? Have you been playing it safe? If you're not progressing, you're regressing. So if you're not going forwards, you are going backwards. You're not, you haven't reached a plateau. You aren't staying balanced and staying even. A balancing act is always either growing or or dying. That whole, you know, thing of, oh, balance out your life. We we do talk about it, but if it's it's more of a metaphor because it's actually impossible to perfectly balance um out your life. And the same way that an airplane traveling from one destination to another doesn't go in a perfectly straight line. There are constantly adjusting uh, the nose of the airplane to to get it back online. So there's there's loads of adjustments, may, way more than you'd realize. So it's important to do that in your life to make sure that you are progressing and not regressing. So this whole thing of having everything in perfect balance, you know, you're not your life hasn't been perfectly balanced, um, for the last five years or the last ten years. So you're either progressing or regressing, and if you're still the same person, then you know something has gone wrong. You need to actively work on development. We all know this. You need to work on your development as a person. So maybe socially, we can call that. Your development, your financial development, your career or your business development, your experience or your knowledge development and your health, both your mental and physical health. You have to get out of your own way to allow yourself to grow. So Here's the here's one of the points I want to I want to hit and hit hard is that fixed opinions are bad. We all have very fixed opinions of ourselves. How many years have you held certain fixed opinions of yourself? It could be something small, it could be something large, but you've latched on to fixed opinions. I guarantee you look at yourself, look in your mind, what fixed opinions do you have? that you've held on to about yourself. Surely in those last five years or those last 10 years, you could have worked on 
those fixed opinions. So I'll give you an example and it's a it's a really lame example. It's a really easy example. I used to always tell myself that I was terrible at remembering people's names. I used to always, I am a person that is not good at remembering people's names. And to be perfectly honest, I was just letting myself off the hook far too easy and just letting myself be lazy or, you know, completely disregard um people's names basically when i am it really it was just laziness i'm a lot better at it now and you know once you once you identify yourself as i am this thing or i am not a certain way or a certain thing or you know a damaging opinion of yourself you can hold it for decades so look at those fixed opinions that you have of yourself and really honestly Look at them. And if it is something that you want to change, why have you not changed? In the next five years, you shouldn't be the same person as you were in the last five years. So you you have every opportunity to to not give into it. So if you're underconfident, if, if that's where you're, if you've got that imposter syndrome, why? How have you not worked on it? It should have been eliminated five years ago. So why isn't it eliminated now? And it should absolutely be eliminated in the next five years. And that's the whole point of this. You have the opportunity to continue to grow. Um, you need to change your, your opinion sometimes about yourself or about things. And some people are so afraid of being proven wrong. Some people don't want to be wrong that they're unwilling to change an opinion, even if that opinion is incorrect, even if that opinion is serving no positive action there's there's no need for it sometimes you have to change your opinion sometimes you have to change direction sometimes you have to drop false ideas preconceived ideas that aren't helping you anymore sometimes you'll realize that the goals that you're after aren't what you're actually after at all or aren't what you're motivated for or aren't what you wanted um so it's very important that you don't continue to do these things based on um you know not wanting to change or not wanting to admit to yourself that you know you've changed or you, your opinion has changed have a look at yourself five years ago are you today more focused than you were five years ago if not let's change that over the next five years you should be more relaxed today than you were five years ago if not Something something is wrong. There's something that needs to be adjusted or fixed. You should be more confident than you were five years ago. You should be more experienced than you were five years ago. Your mental and physical health should have increased for good, increased positively, increased um, as to where it was five years ago. If not, you're regressing. Why not? What has gone wrong? What can you correct? What can you fix for the next five or ten years? Love in your life whatever that may mean to you, should have increased in the past five years, not decreased. Um, you should have more prized possessions now, today, than you did five years ago, unless something has gone wrong. Now, the optimal word there is prized possessions, not just possessions that are worthless junk that you don't care about, but actually prized possessions. Your life and your lifestyle should have improved. It doesn't have to have vastly improved. It doesn't have to be the difference with night and day. But all of those areas, if you're looking at, if you're answering those questions, are they all positive answers in, 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 in comparison to the last five or the last 10 years? And how can you ensure that going forward over the next five to 10 years, when you're doing, when you're taking this test again, this personal test to yourself, how can you make sure that in the next five to 10 years, you will be a more focused person, a more relaxed person? That doesn't mean lazier. The more relaxed you are, the more effective you can be. More confident person, a more experienced person. How can you have or ensure that in the next five to 10 years, you're going to have increased mental and physical health, not decreased, increased love, and more prized possessions. The, the answers to those questions should shape um, how you progress and your goals going forward. But get out of your own way. 
also there, there's been a lot of we've been caught up thinking about ourselves and in our own brain and in our own um mind going through this particular episode so sometimes to get a bit more relaxed you have to get out of your own way you have to not be so caught up in yourself and um, sometimes you can try too hard you can be too cerebral to the point where overthinking shakes your confidence and overthinking makes you less relaxed so maybe part of your progression is not burying deeper and deeper into your own mind for answers and getting lost maybe it is taking things a little bit more as they come and it being a bit more accepting maybe that's a part of the experience we were talking about becoming more experienced and becoming more relaxed and becoming more confident and increasing mental and physical health and becoming more focused maybe don't sweat the small stuff as much don't go down that narcissistic rabbit hole that i've talked about in the past uh, love yourself more as well as as allowing more love from other people into and out of your life um and then as i said that the prized possessions not just folly not just things that you think you should be chasing status symbols things that you actually want that you, that you value so you've screwed up if you're not the same person you were five years ago and if that is you if you are the same person you feel you are you feel you've you've regressed in the last five years well let's make the next five years um even better let's let's correct Let's correct those last five years and let's put it into the next five years. And don't be so hard on yourself. Maybe I'm sure there are areas of experience that you have progressed uh, more than you're giving yourself credit for. And what a timely episode as we're chasing towards 2024 now um, that we're talking about setting yourself up for your next five year or 10 year plan. Um, you're going to be heading into 2024 with your 12 month plan, I hope. But time to revisit your five-year plan your your longer term plan hopefully that's helped if you need any advice if you want to use me as a sounding board message me anytime thank you for listening i'm robert tavan the success sensei life is a fight you can enjoy and win bowing out this has been the success sensei fighting the winning fight so add us subscribe like and comment Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.